Hi, this is the fifth and last video of the videos that show techniques that are involved in this false knit along. This false knit along is this one sleeved sweater that I have designed. In the previous videos, we've done the provisional cast on, we've done the folded brim, we've done the, the lacy increase, and I've shown you how to do the German short rowing that is involved in the wedges. In this video, we're going to focus on the gutter stitch I cord edge. So now I'm here on my version and I'm almost at the end of my last wedge. And I'm gonna work to the end here with my brown yarn. And then I have one stitch left here. I'm just gonna move this to the front and then I'm picking up my blue yarn, leaving a tail, I'm just knitting the last stitch with the blue yarn. I'm just going to pull at the ends of the brown to lock the blue in. And then I'm casting on five new stitches using the backwards loop technique. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and the last stitch that I knit with the blue. So now I'm turning. And now I'm gonna do the garter stitch I cord bind off. So first I'm, the first row is purling four. So that's one. It's a little difficult because the stitches are new. Two. Three. Oh, I have to get in there. Four. And then it's purl two together. I'm purling these two blue ones together here all together and then I'm placing putting all the stitches back on my left hand needle so these five stitches are going to be my garter stitch I cord now I'm going to knit four that's one two Oops. Three, four, and then purl two together. So I'm pulling my last stitch together with the last brown one there. Purl two together. But I'm not going to slip the brown stitch up off the needle. I'm leaving it on the needle. And then I'm placing all the five stitches back on my left hand needle. Now there's a purl row. So I'm purling four. One. Two, three, four. Then I'm purling my last stitch together with the same brown one that I purled together with before. Like that. And then back onto my left hand needle. So that was the first three rows of the bind off. Here comes the following three rows. I'm going to knit four, one, two, three, four, and purling two together. And this time I'm just slipping it off, both stitches off the needle. Back again to the left hand needle. Purl four, one, two, three, four, purl two together but leave the old stitch on the needle and then back, all stitches back to left hand needle and then I'm knitting four again one, two, three, four and then I purl two together the last stitch and the one that I purled into before and now I'm taking off the needle 
So that was my first repeat of the I chord bind off. You can see you have this little I chord forming down here. I just want to show you what you do when you get to one of the wrapped stitches before when you were working the, sti the, the wedges you were just treating the wrapped stitch as one stitch see here upcoming is a wrapped stitch and again when you're working this I chord bind off you just treat the wrapped stitch as one stitch so just purl the last stitch together with both legs of the wrapped stitch and off the needle and then just continue working in pattern Now I'm starting to work into my last live stitch. So here's my purl two together the first time in the last stitch. Leaving it on the needle. Stitches back on left hand needle. And here's Getting all the stitches and purling the last two together. Now there are no more live stitches, but I have this. I've reached the end here where I've turned my rows. I'm just going to continue the I chord down this edge. So before I do anything else, I'm just going to pick up a stitch here. Just the last stitch, and I'm sliding all the stitches to the other end of my circular needle. And I'm just going to continue working the pattern down the side here. And this picked up stitch that I have here, I'm just treating like a regular stitch. So since this is the first row of the repeat, I'm purling the two together and off the needle, picking up another stitch and sliding back to the other end. And this one, this picked up stitch, I'm going to work into twice. So there's a knit row, purling the two together. And then I'm leaving the picked up green stitch on the needle and putting the five blue stitches back on my left hand needle. And then I purl the row. Purling the two together and off, oops, purling the two together and off the needle, picking up the next stitch like that. And then I'm going to continue like that all the way across here, down to here, and up this side. Then I'm just going to cast off my stitches at the end and sew the two ends together, and after that, I'm going to do the neck opening. And that. This concludes the five videos that show techniques that are involved in this ultimate along. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see what you make, your final results. Please share them on Instagram using the hashtag Vitad OneSleeved or share them on Ravelry, Facebook or wherever you share them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.